Welcome to Jane's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chin. Yes, Chu is definitely here. Nice. And what are we doing today? Today we're doing Korean style spicy chicken wing. Yes. And why is that? Because they're delicious. Yes, because they are super delicious. And they're actually, well, they're not that hard to do. No. It's just knowing little, little tricks and stuff. Yeah, just carry on watching. Exactly. Don't go away. Do not go away. Okay, to start off with, we're going to need some chicken wings and we're going to put some salt into these and then we're going to pour some water over the top and mix it together. And why do we do that, Ma? To soften it, tenderize it, and? as called. And also uh, give it a bit more in-depth flavor. In-depth flavor, yeah. yes. So when these are done, you just take them and put them in the fridge for at least 20 minutes, but overnight for best results. So it's been about 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm going to pour these into the colander we have here and we're just going to drain them for about five minutes. Now these have drained off. We're just going to set these aside and start working on the marinade. So to our wings, we're going to add two teaspoons of Korean chili flakes. These are really just for a bit of color. Then we've got a tablespoon of garlic powder, 15 grams of minced ginger. Now all I did was slice this up, then dice it really finely and then using the side of my knife with a sprinkle of salt. I press down really hard to make a paste um, and that's essentially what you want. Half a teaspoon of MSG. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of white pepper. And um, quarter teaspoon of black pepper as well. And then you're just gonna marinate all these up and we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for about 20 minutes. So now we're gonna make the outside the butter mix. Yeah, so this is a dry butter mix. We're going to take the chicken wings out and put them into this mix. If you want a bit more on the outside, just break an egg white into that mix and more will stay on so it's thicker. But we want um, a sort of a thinnish kind of batter on the outside. Yes. So into this, we're going to put some potato starch along with some plain flour, a, oh. third, a third teaspoon of MSG. Half a teaspoon of uh, salt. Third teaspoon of salt. Oh, third teaspoon. <laughs> a third teaspoon. Yes, third, a third, third, yeah. third teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Some baking powder. And what the baking powder does, it allows bubbles to form in the batter very, very quickly, making the batter extra crispy. If this was a wet batter, you could use an alcohol or sparkling water to create those bubbles along with the baking powder, and it makes it extra, extra crispy. But this is a dry batter, so just the baking powder on its own for now. So if you want exact measurements and written recipes, make sure to sign up to our recipe vault. It's a paid membership thing, and depending on what tier, you get different perks. The highest tier, which is this gold tier, gets once a week videos. So it's worth going checking out, and that's on chinandchoosecookeryschool.com. The link for that will be below. It really supports us and helps us make better content if you do as well. Then we're going to mix that all together, set that aside, and then what are we going to do after that? We're going to bring the wings back and get it coated. Exactly, that's exactly what we're going to do. Pick the wings up out of the bowl and put them into the mix, and we're just going to mix them all together till that, till the wings are nicely coated on the outside. So now these are coated, we're literally just going to pop them into um, vegetable oil at 180 degrees. I'm going to deep fry them until they're crispy on the outside, and then they're piping hot in the middle. And you want them over 80 degrees C to make sure you're safe. Then, once they're done, we're gonna set them to the side for about 20 minutes, let them cool down, and then we're gonna double fry them. And this double frying process makes it extra crispy. Again, you want them to be hot, piping hot in the middle, don't you, Ma? Yeah. Yeah, always, what, Mum, what first? Piping hot. Safety first is what I was gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, well, always piping, piping hot. hot. Piping hot and safety in, in this, sort of thing, it comes hand in hand. Yes. Yeah. Without fail. Yeah. Unless it's a green leaf salad, then piping hot is not what you want. <laughs> so on a medium heat, I'm just gonna throw in some what, Ma? Cooking oil. Cooking oil. And then some rehydrated garlic. You're gonna need to rehydrate this, and all you do is put hot water in with these, let it steep for about 20 minutes, and then just drain them off. And there you go. And then along with this, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of MSG. And what's this, Ma? Salt. Just going to allow that to brown off a little bit. And I'm going to add a, about a teaspoon, no, sorry, about a tablespoon of um, tomato ketchup. I'm just going to cook that off. I'm going to turn the temperature down 
to a medium low heat and add your, I'm not going to pronounce this properly, but cultural can, cultural go, Korean chili paste anyway. And I'll put the name of it up on the screen here. <laughs> Just going to put that in along with four, five tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of vinegar. I'm using cider vinegar, but you can use white vinegar. A tablespoon of sugar. A teaspoon of Korean chili flakes. A teaspoon of chili flakes, hot ones. Some dried chilies. And a tablespoon of what more? Light soy. Light soy. I'm just going to put some heat in that, and then we're going to throw the chicken in. Yeah. Shall I do that? Yeah. Go on. Shall I use my hand? Do whatever you want, ma. Yeah. Use your hands. Use your chopsticks. We had a good pair of hand make use of it. Yeah, exactly. And um, I've just turned the heat off and we're just going to toss these around so these are fully coated in that lovely, rich wow. sauce. Yeah. Looking good, right? Yes. So then we're just going to plate these up and garnish it with some, what's the word I'm looking Spring for? Spring onions. Spring onions and, and some sesame, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, yeah. We all know that everyone out there loves a good sesame seed. Don't we, Matt? Yes, everyone loves it. Wow, look at that. Every single one being coated. Yes. So there you have it. Korean spicy chicken wings. Korean chicken wings. Korean style. Style spicy chicken wings, yes. Obviously, it's our own take on it. So, Mum, do you want to dig in? Yes, definitely. I want to like this bit. It's my favourite bit. It's nice and I sticky. Like, like super oh, yeah. sticky. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. I think that might be better than um, salt and pepper chilli wings. Well, I love salt and pepper chilli wings. I think it has got a different a different uh, flavour. It all depends on how you feel that day. I wouldn't say it's better. I think it's different. I'd say it's better. Is uh, it? Yeah. I haven't said they're very simple. Because it has um, the sauce probably. Because the salt and pepper maybe don't have so many sauce. Everybody like a bit of a... Uh, Tomato ketchup, isn't it? Salt and pepper doesn't have any sauce, man. It's dry. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's dry. But yeah, this, I think the sauce makes it. Mm. Obviously, ketchup isn't used in the traditionally recipe, traditional recipe, sorry, but I just think not to put it in is almost ridiculous because it lifts the flavour up. So it adds like a whole other dimension of yeah, flavour. Definitely, the uh, tomato ketchup make, uh, makes it a bit more flavoursome. It works so well with that. Mm. Almost. The sweet still... pepper taste of the um, yeah. Korean chilli paste. Yes. It's not hot, it's not super hot, it's not but hot. there is a heat. Give it a go, please. Yeah, make sure you do give it a go. Yeah. We sell the red chilli pepper flakes as well, the Korean ones. Most of this stuff we sell on a web store. Mm. So check that out, chinandtube.com, links will be below. Again, make sure you check out our cookery school. That has the recipe vault on where you can get this written up. And that and supporting us there really helps. But if you don't want to do all that and you just want to support in a little way, commenting below and hitting the like button helps that loads. Super. Yeah. Duper. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, chicken wing lovers out. <laughs> mm. Happy cooking, happy eating. Mm. Very good. Very good. <laughs>